take care. I'll see Huawei's presents the benefits from a secure podcast. Welcome to the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast. My name is Sue, and let me introduce you to the rest of Sandy Care Breakfast Club. Hello, I am Jen Lefeu. Hi, I am Brianna. Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm Kieran. Hi, my name is Josh. Hi, I'm Angelica. Hi, my name is Kieran. Hi, I'm Heather. Hi, I'm Kayla. Hello. Hi, I'm Seth. Hi, my name is Cameron. Hello, this is Molly. Mm-hmm. My name is Kelsey. We have Christmas time. <laughs> <That's scary. laughs> she thought you was in the intro. <laughs> and introducing Ramon working the Sandy Care Soundboy. Hello, everybody. On this episode, we're going to interview Wayne Carroll, the president of the Medina County Board of Developmental Disabilities, starting right after this coffee break. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Kayla and you're listening to Sandy Care Radio. Hi, my name is Ashley. The Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast is available on TuneIn Alexa. All you have to say is, Hey, Alexa, I want to listen to the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast. Playing the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast. Hi, this is Jennifer Light as our Facebook at Sanicare LLC. You are listening to the Breakfast Club of Sanicare podcast. Now. I would like to say that we have a very special guest with us today. He is an advocate on behalf of those with developmental disabilities, and he is the president of the Medina County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Let's give it up for Mr. Wayne Carroll! Thank you. Good morning, this is Kayla. Mr. Carroll, what is your position and duties with Medina County Board of Developmental Disabilities? Thank you, Kaylin. It's nice to meet you. Uh, I'm I'm currently the uh, president of the board. Um, I was appointed by the county commissioners uh, about six years ago, and we vote for our officers each year. And I've been uh, appointed president for two years now. Hi, Mr. Carroll. I'm Sue. My question is, what brought you to working with those with developmental disabilities? Thank you, Sue, for the, the, for the question. Um, years ago, the first time I was on the board in the 1990s, uh, my daughter was in the preschool there. Uh, my daughter, who's 33 now, has several different disabilities and, and has been receiving services at the board um, pretty much since she was born. Um, so it was my interest in making sure she got the services that she needed and then meeting other parents and other, other, uh, students, um, reinforced my, my desire to work at the board. That's great. Thank you, Carol. Hi, my name is Josh. Mr. Carol, how does the Medina County Board of Developmental Disabilities go about finding qualified people to represent it in the community? Thank you, Josh, for the question. Um, there are a variety of ways. We, um, we do some advertisement. We do word of mouth. A lot of times it's our parents and our, our uh, employees that, that find people that are interested and, and passionate about the work. 
and so we um, we use all of those sources to to find the people that work for us and are on the board. Good morning, Mr. Carroll. Good morning, My Ashley. name is Ashley. Sir, are you satisfied with the way services are provided through the county? Hi, Ashley. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but your mother and your sister used to babysit and, and were uh, providers for my daughter at one time. I, I remember your family very well. Your mom worked at the center for us. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I didn't know that either. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who would that be? You're, you're, oh, Kristen and, and Grant Carroll. My daughter, Kristen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was a baby that time. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Hey. Now, can you repeat your question for me? I, I, I hate to ask you to do that, but I've forgotten it already. Sir, are you satisfied with the way services are provided through the county? Well, you know, Ashley, we're, we're never really satisfied. We always want to do a better job. We're doing the best we can do at this point, uh, and we feel we have a, a pretty good service provision model, and our, we have good people that are providing the services, but we always want to do better. So um, the, I have kind of a mixed feeling about that because I, we're proud of what we do, but at the same time, we want to do more. Hi, Mr. Carroll, or good morning. My name is Angelica. I have a question for you. I remember when many of us went to the same places, they were called workshops and a lot of people wanted it to stay that way. Now we have smaller agencies. I like the way it is. Now, what do you think? I, again, I'm sorry, it's Angelica? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I again have kind of mixed feelings i remember when my daughter were, went to the workshop as well and and we were real pleased with the services we had the the people were very good at the same time we do have some excellent uh agencies that we've kind of divested to and i hear good things about all of them um I'll, most people tell me that they their children or they themselves enjoy what they're doing and they have the ability to move from one agency to another if if they want different services and that that was not a, a possibility that we had before so that that choice is a very good thing i think thank you for sharing that morning i am jennifer jennifer yeah. nice to meet you is there any changes you will make with the small A Gen six. Um, there are changes. You know, I would like to make sure, and it's hard to know all the time whether there are options for all of our people because because our the the variety of um, people and their interests is is just so big, and it's hard to know if people have all of the choices that would be good for them to have. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I'd, I'd like to do is make sure that we have a good variety and a good range of options mm -hmm. for people. Um, and we're, we work on that every year to make sure that, that we are identifying more choices for people. Good morning, Mr. Carroll. My name's Heather. Mr. Carroll. Are you a dog person or a cat person, or do you not care for pets? Thank you for the question, Heather. Um, actually, I'm more of a dog person, but my wife is more of a cat person. So we have a cat at home right now. We've had both. Um, yeah, I do like animals, and, and my kids had animals when they were young. We had always had two dogs and two cats and sometimes had two bunnies as well. Good morning, Mr. Carroll. My name is Cameron. 
are you originally from Medina, Ohio? That's a good question, Cameron. Thank you. Uh, no, actually, I grew up in Berea, Ohio, up in Cuyahoga County. Okay. Um, it was a nice environment because we had a, a college right there, Baldwin Wallace, and and the, the metro parks were right off of, of uh, where we lived. So it was a nice environment growing up. Good morning, Mr. Carroll. My name is Brianna. Do you have sisters and brothers? Brianna, thank you. Yes, I have one older brother. Um, he lives still in Parma and has a couple of kids of his own. Um, and that's really it. It was just he and I growing up. Hello, Mr. Carroll. My name is Molly. I have a question for you. Do you really like what you do on the board? Molly, yes, I do uh, enjoy what I do on the board. It sometimes is um, a little nerve wracking and I have to, to do a lot of study and research uh, to make sure that I understand the issues because there are a lot of different things going on at the board. Um, but it, it is interesting, yes. Good morning, Mr. Carroll. My name is Marion. What is your hobbies? Marion, thank you. Um, really, my, hob my biggest hobby is reading. I really enjoy reading. I do it every day. Um, I also like to travel some, uh, and I'm still working part-time. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Any, any sports like golf or anything like that? Um, I, I enjoy baseball. I walk, used to play baseball quite a bit, um, and I enjoy watching baseball and keeping up with the Guardians. That's good. Oh, that's great, Mr. Oh. Carroll. Nice. How does the board go about funding the right programs for, for those like me? I really love Sandy Care, but everybody can't come here. That's that's true, and that kind of speaks to what, what I was saying before about options and trying to find options. We um, spend some amount of time just asking people what they want so that we know what are good options and then we go out into other counties or into the community to find out who has has the the ability to provide those things and we we don't always find what we're looking for but we've done i think a pretty good job finding enough options so that people enjoy what they're doing Sir, what do you see in the future for adults, day centers, vocational habilitation, and home care? That's kind of a difficult question to answer because a lot of it has to do with um, what the what the state uh, board of, of DD expects of us. We have 88 counties. We all provide services, um, and we try to keep up with the laws and the trends that the state um, expects. We do have uh, advocates that try to make sure that we are uh, providing a voice to the state um, about the what options people would like. Um, you know, it all comes down to the kinds of things you guys want to do. Mm -hmm. And we try to provide uh, agencies and options you know, to accommodate your your needs and your wants. Why do people use the word in the restroom for people with disabilities? You know, it's been kind of a progression, actually. As we we move along historically, different words gain different uh connotations and different uh meanings and so years and years and years ago the words uh mentally retarded were normal just that's what people uh who didn't do so well on intelligence tests were called then it became what what we call pejorative or negative and we stopped using that in fact the first time i was on the board that's when we took the the term mental retardation out of the county board's name mm -hmm. because it was negative. Yeah. So we kept trying to find different words, you know, that that you guys would be 
accepting of, you know, without tying you to your disability. We didn't want to say, you know, people, people, disabled people, because that, that just says that you're disabled. It doesn't say what you can do. So we try to make sure that we use terms that uh, describe you without being negative. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like a like a star right now. Uh, 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 you are a star. You're all yeah. stars. Yeah. Hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> Smoking hot, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carroll, are all county boards alike? Like I, I mentioned a, a few minutes ago, there are 88 county boards. That's how many counties there are. Every county has a board. But we're not necessarily all alike. We offer services <laughs> in different ways. Uh, for instance, Cuyahoga County is so much bigger than we are. They have lots and lots of different services and lots and lots of different workshops. Uh, and, and so we're not the same. We have, we really strive to provide for the needs and the wants of the citizens in our county. And because you guys aren't the same people as the people in Summit County, we offer different services than what Summit County offers. We try to base our services on your needs and wants. Mr. Carroll, what is your vision for the Medina County Board of Developmental Disabilities? Thank you. Um, you know, just like we we mentioned with with Ashley, you guys are stars. We want you to feel as comfortable as as you can feel in the community. So we're really working right now at teaching the, the community what they can do to be helpful for you. You know, we're, we're working at, on the, the businesses in the square to, to try to get them to get ramps so that people in wheelchairs can get up easily. We're trying to, to make people understand that you guys all have great skills and knowledge and they should be hiring you because you do have good skills and knowledge and you are stars. So that's, that's what my, my real vision is, is making sure everybody understands you and your abilities. Oh, that. Thank you, Mr. Carroll, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to let us interview you. Can you tell the listeners out there how to contact you? Uh, yes, thank you um, for that. I, I'm happy to take my uh, time. Um, the The easiest way for you to contact me would be through the the website that the board has. The you just look up Medina County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Um, you Google it, mm -hmm. and then you you can click on. Uh, any of the services or there's a button for the board and you can find any of the board members information there. So that's probably the easiest way for you to contact me. St. Care Breakfast Club will return after a brief coffee break. My name is Wayne Carroll. I'm the president of the Medina County Board of Developmental Disabilities, and you're listening to Sandy Care Radio. Hola, this is Sue. The Breakfast Club of Sandy Care podcast is now free on iHeartRadio. Bump, bump. Hi, this is Josh. Did you know that you can stream the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care podcast episodes on YouTube? Well, now's your chance. Subscribe today to keep up with us. The Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of new Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast episodes. Thanks for listening and watching, too. Hi, my name is Brianna, 
Jersey Sin Care Radio. This is the Breakfast Club of Sin Care Podcast. Before you leave the house, don't forget the news we like to call the morning toast. Are you hungry for the headline? The Breakfast Club of St. Care Podcast will serve you your morning toast. According from nationaldaycalendar.com, the International BNU Day, May 22nd, invites you to celebrate BNU. During this day, you are invited to explore what it means to truly be you. Beyond the projections of society and the need for perfection, it is your day to discover the beauty of you and your unique capabilities. The invitation also creates the possibility to celebrate everyone's differences. Each year, on May 22nd, National Maritime Day recognizes the line to the maritime industry in the United States. This celebration also honors America's merchant marines for the contributions and sacrifices for our country. Special acknowledgments given to ships and seafarers who have held a prominent place in our nation's history. Each year on May 22nd, we observe National Buy a Musical Instrument Day. The day is all about playing music. If you are a musician, it might be time for a new instrument. Maybe you can learn to play a second or third one if you have never played an instrument before. This celebration may be the motivation you need. Sandy Care Breakfast Club. What musical instrument you would like to buy and learn? No drums for me at any time soon. But you know what? My kind of musical instrument may want to be a piano. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with drums? Well... When I was 10 years old, I got a drum set for 10,000 bucks, but at the age of 15, I never knew that I was drumming like Animal from the Muppets, so I had to stop right there on age 15 and move on to piano. See here? That's the stuff. (laughs) Piano. Um, I want to play sticks. What? Um, <laughs> yeah. Drums or just sticks? Just sticks. I like to learn how to play trombone. I want to try and learn how to play guitar. I play harmonica too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm someday trying to play P and O. My favorite instrument that I would love to buy is an electric guitar. Cookies. <laughs> Hercules. What? <laughs> Hercules. Oh. What music instrument? Piano, guitar, what? Drums? Bucketar. Piano. Um, the m- musical instrument I like to play, I would like to learn is drums. Um, I pick a drum. I would like to learn to play the trumpet. I would like to learn to play the flute. Um, maybe we have your drums, your 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 drums, your 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 Holy cow, Andrew! Oh, yes. We are also celebrating 
is National Day for Biological Diversity, National Craft Distillery Day, World Paloma Day, National Solitaire Day, World Cough Day, and National Monano Put In Day, and National Toast. And we will turn after this brief coffee break. Hi, this is Molly. The Breakfast Club of Sandy Care podcast is available free on iTunes on the Apple Podcast app. Hi, my name is Ashley. Follow us on Twitter at Sandy Care LLC. Want to ask us a question? Do you have a comment? We will read and respond to your questions and comments on the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care podcast. Email us at sandycarebreakfastclub at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Hi, Angelica here. Would you like to become a member of the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care podcast? Do you have a waiver that supports people with developmental disabilities? Then contact us at sandycare12 at gmail.com. You can be with us in our studio or through remote services. This concludes this episode of the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care podcast. We will now leave you with an inspirational quote. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Steve Jobs. Goodbye. Bye. (laughs) Bye. 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 See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. A few moments later. Goodbye. Goodbye. (laughs) Bye. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sandy Care is a proud member of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce.